Hello, it's the IT Guys 99 here, and welcome back to Microsoft Excel 2016. Today we're going to be looking at averages within Microsoft Excel. There are three different types of average that we can use for three different functions. To return the mean of a series of numbers, we will use the average function. The mean is where each number is added up and then divided by the total number of numbers. For the median, we'll use the median function, and that will return the middle value in your list of data. So it will sort your data into numerical ascending order, and then return the middle value. And for the mode, we'll use the mode function, and that will return the value that appears the most often in your list of data. So let's get started. As you can see, we have this example with people's test scores. And what we want is to return their mean value. So we will type equals average. Then we will select the data for that pupil. Close brackets and hit enter. I can then drag this formula across. And that'll give us the averages for those pupils. In this example, we've got the heights of pupils. And so you can tell which is the mode. I've written this little table here. So 1.2 is the most frequent, as is shown here. So to insert the median, we will type equals median. And then select our data. And that will tell us it's 1.3. For mode, we equal, type equals mode and then select our data and then for the mean we will again type equals average and select our data. Each of these is different values which is why it's important to know which type of average you want before using it. To show you why the median is 1.3 I'm going to sort these into numerical order. Now they've been sorted into numerical order, we can see that between numbers 5 and 6, which is the centre of our list, we have 1.3 and 1.3. Therefore, 1.3 is in the middle of our data set, and therefore that will be the median. That's all I've got to show you in this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. But stay tuned, there will be plenty more tutorials on our channel. Next time we're going to be looking at the min and max functions in Excel. But for now, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Goodbye.